beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. Take a look at the five and ten glistening once again. I'm so excited, guys. Happy Vlogmas, day 11. Hello, welcome to Vlogmas day 11. It is a miserable, look, miserable, rainy, rainy day out there. I'm on my <clears throat> lunch break and I got like 15 minutes, so I figured I'd pop in. And tonight we're supposed to get snow. About three o'clock in the morning, it's supposed to turn over to like a wet snow, which really makes me nervous because my son leaves about five in the morning, 4.35 in the morning for work, and then he's got to drive in that, and I'm really, really kind of nervous about that. So I have an idea for Robert. Thank you guys for all your suggestions. Keep them coming. They're fantastic. But he got into this big fight with me the other day because he came home after working, and he's like got a physical labor job, and he cooks dinner. Well... <coughs> <coughs> He was mad that I don't have dinner. I never make dinner. He always makes dinner every single night. And he had gotten fussy and cranky about it. And I said, he goes, what are you going to do if we're not together, Terry? What if something happens to me? He goes, what, are you just going to go find another man that cooks? And I went, yeah. And I was talking to my daughter. She goes, of, of, of course you would. That's what you were dad cooked. You never cooked. <laughs> I totally, totally would just find another guy who cooks. I just don't cook. It's the way it is. So, I ordered him a food delivery, like a dinner delivery thing. Like, it was like HelloFresh, but it's, uh, I don't know if it's HelloFresh. It's, um, I forgot the one it is, but it was their oven ready stuff. So, basically, you just have to heat it up. But it was like for one week, it was like, I got four meals for the first week, and it was like $140 and you got $20 off. So, I paid like $127 for the first week. But then I switched to two meals after that. So, you can cook the other days, and then he'll have two breaks during the week and basically we just have to heat the meals up and I got the low carb option they also had a keto option so that's my version of helping you with cooking because I'm never going to become a cook I don't cook um, I hate cooking I do bake but my mom got sick when I was like 12 and she was institutionalized during those ages where I would have learned how to cook and I do know how to make like spaghetti and things like that. But like, so anyway, that's one of his gifts and he's getting it because he's been a bitch and he was such a bitch the other night. You know, sometimes guys, they are bitches. He was one. So anyway, when he says, what kind of, what is this? I'm like, this is my contribution to cooking. Plus I do all the dishes and all of the laundry. So like I might not cook, but I do the other stuff. So pfft. anyway, can you tell him in a mood? I have a few minutes for you to go in, and of course it just started raining extra hard out there so that I'm going to get soaked. I actually put my hair in, back in a little, um, because it's going to curl. It's I, it's coming because it's wet. It's going to end up curling up on me. Um, I found a little scarf in my car, and I think I'm just going to put the scarf over my head and run in. I have so much work to do, guys, from being gone for a whole week from work. Oh, I'm so backed up. But I made a placement yesterday. It was a really, really good one. I'm super excited about the guy who got the job. The company offered him the best offer we've ever had. And I've made like 15 placements with this company. I think this is the 15th. Um, yeah, so I everything's good. I just have more work than I can handle. I went into work today. One of my clients called and they have two more jobs. I got a sales role for the Northeast that I need to fill for food packaging equipment. And I got a director of sales role for somebody who's retiring, again, in packaging equipment. If you know anybody, send them, a, send them my way. My email is in the description box always, and they can email me their resumes. I really only work in like packaging and process equipment and mostly on the sales side. Anything from an outside sales guy all the way on up through the executive levels. And I also have another director of sales role for the Midwest. So like I said, if you guys know anybody in packaging or process equipment or food grade equipment that's at a director level in the Northeast or Midwest, send to have them send me a resume if they're looking. Um, let's utilize all of our different ways to find somebody for these roles. So I am wearing my fun thing again today because I only wore it a couple hours when I was sick and I wore it again because I love it so much. And I went through the, um, I got bad food today. I went through the line of McDonald's and the first lady where you pay, she's like, oh, I love your sweater. And then the moment I got my food, the second lady's like, oh my God, I love your sweater. I'm like, this is a good sweater. 
This is a good sweater. I linked it when I did the, um, on one of the vlogs, I linked it. So if you guys are looking for it, I'll try to link it again in case you missed that vlog. I'll, I'll see if I can link it again because it's so cute. It's fuzzy and it's got these little, it's got like one here, one here. I think there's like one on the bottom and in the back. So, um, yeah. So, okay. I've just talked for like four and a half minutes about next to nothing. So, I'm curious, just let's let's start some men gossip in this vlog. Tell me what annoys you most about your man. Let's just talk about that. What annoys you most about your man? Because clearly what annoys him about me is that I don't ever cook. Although when I do, I, he doesn't pay, do all the meals five days a week because I do also buy like pizza at least once a week, at least once a week. So there's one meal he's not cooking, so. Anyway, um, I will see you guys all in a little bit. We're going to do our events later. And I think I'm going to do an unboxing later on today because he's not home tonight. And so I'll have some time to do a little bit extra in this vlog. Whoa! Are you still there? <laughs> I'm dropping you. <clears throat> so I will, we'll get this vlog up a little bit more stuff. And I got to do some Christmas shopping. I did do a little bit online and I have to do some things for my daughter and get some things for her. So, uh, but my mom's coming this weekend. So then there, I think there's just one more weekend before Christmas. So I'm going to see if my mom's up, up to going shopping, going Saturday, doing some Christmas shopping with me. We'll see what they feel like doing. So, all right, guys, I'll see you all in a little bit and we will finish Vlogmas Day 11. Have a good day. All right, here's today's outfit of the day. And I have my little Calvin Klein like lover print on. And that's it guys, see you. All right guys, I thought we'd do something fun today. I have been meaning to get into this box. So I thought today would be a perfect time to add this into Vlogmas, but my pop sugar came in for the winter and I've had it here for a couple of weeks. I haven't been able to get into it. Um, so here it is, it's got, this is what we see when we open it up and it says happiness delivered. And it looks like it's got a, like a um, word search here. Like here's the word gift. I guess you try to find as many words as you can on here, which we like doing those here, those are fun. Um, and in case you're wondering, on my lips, I have all influencer makeup on my lips. I have Androgyny by uh, Jeffree Star, and then I have a Too Faced little gloss called Unicorn Tears over it, just to give it a little moisture. And then on my eyes, I have Tati Beauty's first palette release. I don't know if Jeffree and Tati are friends anymore, but they're friends on my face. And then I have Jaclyn Hill's um, highlighter on my face. So. That's what I'm wearing today, just, and you're going to hear Nitro, he's snorting, he's doing his, <laughs> he's doing his roll around, I'm happy mommy's home, snort. What are you doing, Nitro? What are you doing? All right, I'm going to talk and he's going to start back up. All right, so let's get into this. So they do give you in Pop Sugar. this is a quarterly subscription, and they do give you a little booklet letting you know um, what's inside and a little bit about each item. And um, I think the price, I don't want to quote wrong, I feel like it's around $50 a quarter, but I will put the price right up here in the corner. And I believe I might have a coupon code or something for you as well. So um, let's get the going. Okay, the first thing that I see right on top is these Merci, Merci, Merci is French. Um, thank you, blank, um, they're eight blank cards printed in the USA and they are done in their uh, Florida by hand studio in Florida. So here they are. They're beautiful little thank you cards. And in fact, I think I'm going to send thank you cards out to some of my candidates and clients. So I'm kind of collecting these, but for Christmas, I'm going to send them Christmas cards. Um, let's see if we can find any information on these. Oh, what does this say? Okay, so I do have a special deal for you. I can give you $20 off your first box and I will get $20 off my next box. And I have a referral code, it says. So um, I will link my referral code below and you can get $20 off. So that's pretty cool. All right, where are these cards? They're like at the end of this packet. Here we are. It's by Rifle Paper Company and it's a box set of eight Rosa Merce greeting cards. Merci, merci. How do you say it? I don't even know. Somebody tell me, because I took Spanish. All right, it says, don't forget to thank everyone for all those wonderful holiday gifts and friendly gestures you received 
throughout the year. These beautiful cards have gold foil details for a luxe touch. The original floral design is created by Rifle Paper co-founder and CCO Anna Bond. It's special to receive a piece of handwritten mail in our digital world, so help spread the joy and say merci. Uh, retail value is 18. I agree. I think that's a lost art. I really think it's a lost art. People, I used to love getting stuff like that in the mail, and we just don't anymore. So, all right. Then we got a Fast Bar by L Nutra. There's usually a goodie in here. This is a blend of nuts and cocoa powder. This is a retail value of $3, so not too bad. Oh, and it says, if you need a little chocolate pick-me-up, this coconut bar is loaded with wholesome ingredients that are both tasty and nourishing. Cocoa powder and a host of premium nuts come together in harmony for a treat you'll be obsessed with. So I've never heard of this, so I'm happy to try that. I'll probably take that to work. 240 calories for one bar, though. That's a lot. Um, but cocoa is good for you. It doesn't look like there's any cholesterol in it. There's 14 grams of carbs in here and 7 grams of sugar. So it may be a little nice pick-me-up during the day at work. All right. The next thing in here that I'm seeing is something heavy. This is, says Kaffa Energizing, Rejuvenating, Invigorating Body Oil. I like body oil, and actually Robert likes it too. He uses it on his hands and on his feet. Um, so that's good for both of us. Let's see what this says. Is this it? Yeah, so this is this is Lux. You can tell it's Lux. It feels very heavy. This is a $68 value, and it's an uplifting oil blend that's warm and energizing. Great to use when you're tired and you want to feel invigorated. I'm going to smell this. Massage into your skin with circular strokes. Apply to damp skin right after bathing or pour a small amount of oil. I have to be careful with oils. I put on a organic oil on my belly yesterday for cramps and it was a specific oil for cramps and I woke up and I washed my hands afterwards and I woke up with hives everywhere that I put the oil on my belly and I had got it I had hives all on my arm I still have them a little bit I had hives like up in here um, so I do have to be careful with oil so I probably would test this on a small area if I can't use it then Robert will use it um, let's see if it says anything about the ingredients this says it's an awaken so, uh, sacred fire ceremonies and smoky rituals of intention setting. Spicy warmth of new beginnings and brightness of fresh starts evoke deep reservoirs, reservoirs to stimulate flow. Awaken. And it's ruled by the elements of water and earth. Um, okay, so this is an interesting thing. So I'm trying to see. Okay, okay, here we go. It has coconut oil. Go-to cola extract, known to help reduce the appearance of cellulite, scars, and skin damage. Vitamin C-rich kakadu plum and amala oil are known to brighten and firm the skin for an even all-over glow. Recommended to use daily for a moisturizer and for self-massage each morning and evening. So hopefully I'm not allergic to anything in this, but here is, it's beautiful. It is a glass bottle too, which is nice. So let's smell this baby. Oh, let's try this, see if we can do it the right way. I'm, I'm actually, I'm just gonna put it on here because I don't, I don't wanna get, there we go. I don't wanna get too much on it and just on the off chance that I'm allergic to it. The first time I found out I was allergic to something in oil was when I went to get a massage and I got hives all over my body. And you hear Gizzy? That's what Gizzy's been doing lately. We don't know what she's doing. I think she's getting confused if I'm not in the room with her. So let me grab her. Okay, she was just sort of standing in the kitchen doing this. So I think she got confused about where I was. I don't know what that smell is. It does smell like refreshing, but it smells like a, a like a musky, spicy like little scent to it too. Almost like anison. I don't know. So I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Okay, Let's see what else we have. This I'm excited about. This is by Kevin Aquan, and it is a the Neil Blush in Rose Cliff. Um, so I don't really have, I don't think I have anything by Kevin Aquan. Um, and this looked gorgeous. This is um, a $38 value and it says for instant glow and dead of winter, use this creamy powder that's easy to apply. The pigmented shade is universally flattering, blends satin, matte and pearl finishes for a luminosity and major color payoff. It's belt, uh, blendable and buildable, so you can make it subtle or bold, which is good because I usually like bold. I have a lot of blush on. You can't really tell because 
I don't know, the camera just sort of like blurs everything out, but I have a lot of blush on. I actually just put some on. If I would have known, I would have waited. So it's beautiful. It, here's the outside packaging. I, I know it's, there we go. It's kind of reflecting. You can see us in there, but let's, ooh. So it's kind of like a beautiful ombre from dark, like almost like bronze to, to light. Um, that's beautiful. So let's see, look at that on my finger. Um, so I'm gonna just, and I don't have any more light. Um, one of the cats knocked over my artificial lights for filming and broke the light really horribly. So um, I know this isn't great light that we're gonna be dealing with it though until I get new new lights. So, but that's really beautiful. And again, that's a $38 value. So good value on this box. We got $68 um, on that oil, $38 on this. Um, $18 here and $3 here, so we're well over 100 so far. Um, then I got something a little. This is probably a piece of jewelry. I think I saw that we were getting a piece of jewelry, and I don't know who this is from, so we're going to take a look at this too. You guys know I love my jewelry. I have other jewelry to show you too um, from Bubble Bar, or no, no, from Francesca's that came in. Oh, I can't get this open. Hold on. Okay, did I think you guys might have missed that. This was a $48 value, um, and it is a travel case, and it's got a TA, T, TSA like piece here that comes out. That's really cool. I'll definitely be using that, and it's really cute. So $48 bucks there. Then we have another item right here, um, and I think I'm going to have to turn you guys off for a second to see if I can eh, get this. I think I got it. Get it open. I don't know what this is yet. I still don't know what this is. I didn't see anybody else's unboxing because I didn't want it to. I wanted. I didn't want to be like have my surprise ruined. You know. What is this? It's beautiful. Ooh, it's a beautiful kind of like fancy little tray thing. Like maybe like for cheese and dip or something? I don't know. Let's see what this, what it says about this. All right, this is by Nima Obiroy Lunaras. And it says, we call this the anything dish because it's so versatile. Use it for serving yummy snacks as decor on your coffee table, put pencils on your desk. It's a trendy black and white design that makes a glam accent fit for any room. It's handmade by artisans using the ancient technique of sand casting. We love it's made of recycled materials and it is $69. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Look at that. And it's silver on the side this would be a great little hostess gift to give somebody too um of course i probably got to put it in a new box now but this would be a great hostess gift and then you could give it with like some cookies or crackers or something like that um we may have a party to go to i don't know uh robert's work party might be on my birthday and if it's on my birthday we have plans with my mom and dad so we won't be going to that so um, he's supposed to get information and let me know. All right, the last thing is by Apathic White Velveteer. And I did see this in here. This, I believe, is a, yes, this is what this is right here. So it's, um, you put the little sticks in here and it's got the scent and it scents up the room. And this is a retail of $48. I'm not going to open this because I am going to give this away as a gift. It says, fill your space with long-lasting fragrance. It will keep a room smelling fresh three to four months, which is fabulous. The sultry white velveteer scent includes notes of cashmere, eucalyptus, eucalyptus and lilac, entwined with earthy sandalwood, amber, and cedarwood. The reed diffuser is thoughtfully crafted using alcohol-free perfume-grade oils. 
You'll like it so much, you'll want one for every room, and it's 40 bucks. I don't think I'm gonna want one for 48 bucks, but it sounds amazing. Um, and I really think I would like the scent of this, and, and, and the fact that it lasts three to four months is also great. Um, probably really great with the animals too. So that's really cool. So that was our entire month's box for um, the winter box. I'm really impressed. This was a really great box. I can't say that there's anything in here I didn't like. I liked it all. Well worth it for me. And I got a couple cool like gifts if I want to give them away as well. I think that dish is a cool gift. I would add something to it. Like they showed it with like Milano cookies in it. And I think that's kind of a cool gift for like a cookie lover. And if you're going to a party, they can immediately put it out and put the cookies in it. Um, or they can just keep it to themselves. I think it's a cute little tray for jewelry as well. Um, you could give it with some jewelry. So lots of really fun ideas. Um, so Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am going to do the advents here in just a few minutes. And that'll be the end of Vlogmas Day. What, what are we on? 11? I keep forgetting. So, um, and I've got, I've got so much to do with you guys. I'm getting so behind. So we're going to start doing boxes now. Probably in every next vlog as much as I can, especially on the weekends. And then uh, we'll be vlogging with my family and my birthday celebration and all that and some Christmas parties coming up here in the future. So you guys have a wonderful day. I'm gonna also try to incorporate now, like especially during my work day, my outfit of the day every day, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and try. I did this um, this one today, so you'll see, you will have seen my outfit of the day today. And yeah, that's it guys. So have a wonderful, happy December 10th. Is that what we're on? Um, you'll see this on the 11th and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. All right. There's a ghost in my house and it's changing the colors on my video. I have no idea why I look these colors right now. I mean, they're still the right color, but they're like different. It's not, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on, but we're going to go ahead and do our advent. So my poor little advent calendar. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have to do day 11, which says bell on it, just so you know. All right, and if you see cats walking behind me, they're running around, they're being crazy. Crazy, here comes, here comes one. Spicy, come here. Come here and show everybody you. Come here, come here. Oh, what, what are you doing? Here, come over, tap me and run away and knock over stuff, okay. So these are the ones that we got here. Are these Jasmine. These are the short socks. I think so. Isn't that who that is? The princess Jasmine. I don't know. I don't know how my princess is. So, but that's cute. Those are cute, and they're my favorite color. And these like pretty blue turquoise. Chop nitro. Go lay down, honey. He's like his snouts right here. He's smelling everything. Go lay down. I am actually having some tea in my Merry Christmas mug that I got from my Hope box. I think that's where I got this. I don't know, but I love it. All right, let's see what we got in our Macy's calendar. I'm really liking this Macy's calendar, so I think this was a good deal. So, number 11. And I used that Peter Roth like uh, vitamin C stuff on my skin today, and I loved it. So, ooh, what is this? Peach Punch Sweet Foam Cleanser by Tony Modi. Look at that. I'm gonna have to figure out why the camera is weird colors. I know it's like all of a sudden my color changed, so annoying. That's just like my stuff, like when I'm videoing now, like the, everything's reversed. If I'm videoing this way, if I video with the other side, but then I can't see if I'm even in frame, then it's correct. So this is all backwards. But what it says is Peach Punch Sweet Foam Cleanser by Tony Moly. I thought this smells delish. Oh, it's, I don't wanna open it yet because I'm using another cleanser by Skin & Co right now and I wanna finish that before I open another one. But I did open that vitamin C stuff because I wanted to use that and brighten up my skin, especially for the holidays because then your, your skin gets dry and dull, I feel like, in the winter. Although, I feel like my skin's been looking really good lately, so that's awesome. All right, so let's get to our big old glossy box, my most favorite, and we are on day 11. Let's open this sucker up. You know what I was thinking? Like when you take this out when you're done, it has shelves on it. 
You could probably use this to put some of your ornaments on it and store your ornaments in these boxes after you're finished. These boxes are so beautiful and it says on the inside, leave a little sparkle wherever you go, which is like me, totally me. All right, we are on number 11 and it's right here. Here we are. I have to make sure when I before I throw these out because some of the stuff I put back in here, some I've put in stockings, some I've taken out. So there's still some things when the boxes I've opened on days I was tired. Okay, so it looks like we got a eye pencil maybe. This is by Winky Lux a Unibrow. Oh, a brow pencil, and it looks like it's double sided. Ooh. Okay, and it's brown. This doesn't look like it is, oh yeah. I, I was like, it didn't look pigmented, but no, it is. It definitely is. It wasn't coming off on my, um, on my hand very well. So I was like, oh, that's not gonna work. But like, oh, there you go. <laughs> that's what happens. So, and I'm guessing the other side is, yeah, the little spoolie dude. I don't do too much to my brows. My brows, I do get them waxed. Um, and sometimes I will darken them up a little bit. So now they're, now they're dark. But like, I, I have pretty full brows. I used to, back in the day, have like bushy brows. You know, before anybody waxed their brows, I had some bushy brows. I look back at pictures, I'm like, whoa. Anyway, that's what Robert said when he saw my hair for the first time when I was dating him. It was really long. And the first night, like I stayed overnight and slept at his house blue dry my hair and because my hair is naturally curly and it so has so much volume I blue dry my hair and I came out of the bathroom and he went whoa <laughs> so funny so anyway that was day number 11 so always get good stuff from glossy box and we're getting really great stuff I think from the um Macy's advent calendar too um, I also want to show you, I did find at Target, and I will try to post these below because they have them, and you could still get these for your kids and give them to them at Christmas, which is what I'm doing. Hold on, I'm going to show you. Okay, so A, my kids always need socks. Always need socks. So I think they'll have fun with this, but they have the um, Avengers. It's a 15-day 15 15-day 15 calendar of socks, and it has four pair of crew socks and 11 pair of the low-cut socks but it's all the adventures. I don't know who's getting what yet. And then this one is DC Marvel. So, um, and same thing, it's 15 pairs of socks. So I'm gonna actually wrap those and give it to them. They can open them one at a time if they'd like for the new year, or they can open them all and just enjoy getting their socks and have fun with each other. But they're they're universal for boys or girls. They had a whole bunch of guys. They had Harry Potter, they had all different types. But if you're interested in these, like especially if you have boys, but my daughter loves this too. I will try to link both of these below and I'll link the Disney Princess one that I have. Um, I think I was able to link that before. So I think that I have that link already created and I'll just create links for this. I was curious if you guys wanna know at all like a little Q&A about YouTube and starting a YouTube channel and how hard it is, how much does it cost, what do you make? Like, If anybody's curious about that, let me know in the comments below. Um, actually, if you want me to answer any questions about anything, my relationship, my family, like my work, anything, in the comments below or on the community tab, just ask me some questions and during the rest of the vlogs through Christmas, I'll answer a couple of your questions throughout the rest of the vlogs. I might answer like two or three so it's not taking too much time um, during each of the next upcoming vlogs. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. It was a lot of fun for me. I really enjoyed opening the Pop Sugar box with you. The link will be below so you can get $20 off if you wanna order it. And I'll link these below for you in case you wanna get, you know, get these for your kids or your husband or whatever. He might enjoy them too because I'm enjoying the princess ones and I'm an adult. So. Anyway, you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.